After spending a week on the boat in the boatyard, I am feeling extra luxurious staying at my mommy's house here by the pool, drinking some coffee before work, um, trying to figure out everything I'm going to need for the boat, uh, parts-wise, hopefully everything, and get it ordered before I stop having paychecks coming in. Um, not sure how much longer I'm going to last at this job. I was just told that even though every single day that I've called out, except for the one where my car broke down, obviously, but every single call out I've had um, a note from the hospital saying I was in the ER or I was in the hospital, whatever, you know, I was sick. And um, I just got a stern talking to today that if I miss one more day, even if it's excused, e excused even if it's like hospital stay. Um, I'm out. I'm fired. <laughs> so that's extra rough for somebody going through some medical issues. And um, Florida's an at-will state and I'm a contract worker. So double whammy there. They don't have to retain me. I don't have to stay there either. But I think I'm just going to stick around as long as I can, get as many paychecks as I can, and then start researching how to work for myself. I'm going to start doing these videos way more often, especially if I don't have a job taking all of my time, giving me overtime, <clears throat> and I'm going to get the boat done a lot faster. So there are silver linings here if I do lose the job, um, but for now, I'm just going to spoil myself for a few days while I wait for the weekend. and think about what to do next. We're just finishing up a tire change over here. Can't have too many cooks in the kitchen. It's a nose tire, so no need for tons of people. But um, uh, My doctors are checking out my cancer to see how it's progressed and if it's actually cancerous or if it's just some abnormalities in my tests and so I'm going through all of that, so now I have to make sure to schedule all of that only on days when I have off. And that's difficult because the doctors, you have to schedule months in advance. And I don't have my schedule that far out. And I can ask my manager to give me these days off, but it's really up to him on whether or not he actually gives them to me or not. And sometimes he forgets. Um, it's not malicious, I think he's just forgetful, but <clears throat> I think it's just surgery. Um, So basically for that, I would have to have a doctor fill out a bunch of company paperwork, which I don't know if you know, but doctors aren't exactly thrilled about filling out a bunch of paperwork for you. They're already busy. Um, and then I have to bring it in to where I work and beg the money overlords to allow me to go have my cancer treated. I can't just leave because I'd love to just quit this job, but um, in America, <laughs> your insurance is tied to your job. So if I leave this job, I don't have health insurance, but the health insurance is useless if I can't get the cancer treated. So it's kind of like a catch-22 here. I'm frustrated and I don't know what to do. And everything else in my life feels like it's uh, falling apart, but... I just need to get back to the boat, honestly. I just need to focus on it, finish it, make a list, and do the list. Just If I don't have this job, I guess I'll have time for that. It's a really exciting day. Don't mind that I sound like shit. I've been sick for like two weeks. <laughs> not COVID, not the flu, because I spent two days in the ER. Uh, anyway, it's an exciting day because ta -da, my mast step is finished. It's going to mount right onto the boat, right where the old one was, hopefully. 
it's a non-issue and uh, I'm on my way to go talk to my rigger and make sure that this is exactly what I need so hooray okay here is my mast sitting pretty here I've got an official tag Curler that may or may not work, we still don't know. And um, yeah, that's where we're at with that. My rigor will be here in 20 minutes. I'm trying unsuccessfully to find a ladder so I can get into my boat, but it's good to come check. are taken and the ones that are not painted spray painted with purple are privately owned which I think really just says that I need to go buy my own ladder but look how nice this boatyard is it's got hurricane tie downs and everything vast improvement on my last one and of course no dice it's supposed to slip right over it and the shape is just off enough, right here, but it's not fitting down inside, so that sucks. I'm going to have to go back to the welder. Damn it. Nothing is ever easy on a boat. That is something I'm learning. Aircraft maintenance? Fucking cakewalk in comparison. Holy crap. <laughs> Why can't it just work the first time? I even wore my lucky boat shoes. <sighs> Sad. Mega bummer. Maybe he can just grind out the inside a little bit so that it will fit. <sighs> I'm going to take the plastic stock that I've got in the back of my Jeep and make a new tracing because this cardboard one was not rigid enough I think is what happened and it did not work out so yeah bummer it's rainy and really cold here today so met with Gulf Coast rigging and he did not want to work in the cold rain. I guess there's heavier, worse rain coming and said, I'll take the deposit and order the parts, but we'll walk through the whole process next week on your next day off. So <sighs> that's fine. <laughs> I just want it done. So the hunt for a ladder goes like so. Just walk up and down and see if somebody stashed one under their boat somewhere. <laughs> I had one on mine, but uh, it got taken because I haven't been here in a month. <sighs> Man, I hate night shift. Look how pretty all these boats are, though. Pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, here's Night Owl sitting in the boat yard. I've got a pile of things that need to go inside the boat and I've got a pile of tangled up line. Hopefully I can move back aboard uh, relatively soonish. My boss told me at work that we need to talk, direct quote, pretty sure I'm getting the can. Okay, today I'm in the cockpit of a 757, an old one. Uh, I don't have much time to record because we have a lot of planes tonight, but I... Uh, I would just show you guys around the cockpit really quickly. I'm doing a service check and then I have to move on. We have an Airbus uh, over there and I won't get to film that. Here we go. Pretty old cockpit as you can see. I've got my books here. There's over 
head. This one's really cool because it's got all most of the switches up here. The circuit breakers are up here so that you can just reach behind you. This used to be an observer station uh, over here, but now it's just a panel for all the tests that we have to do. And that's about it for the cockpit. I think the state of my Jeep right now aptly uh, depicts the state of my life. Here it is, a fucking wreck. Look at that, filled to the brim with boat stuff, clothes. I've been staying on the boat again all weekend. Uh, since Bray is here again, <laughs> and yeah, I've got boat parts, rigging, it's hard to see through here, but let's see if everything falls out. Oh no. So yeah, absolutely filled up to the brim, and uh, the only thing that we don't have is food, so we're going to get some of that and uh, go back to the boat yard, do some more work. Look how pretty she is. Gonna have a mast soon too. So exciting. <laughs> to disturb under this tarp here is basically one giant wasp's nest. It's a little cool outside so they're not gonna attack me while I take the measurements on the inside of the stay. But I don't want to bump it just in case they are angry. They attacked me last time I was out here like a month ago and uh, it was not fun. Wasps are the devil, I am convinced. Maybe just behind rats, because at least I can still use my shit after the wasps are done with it. <sighs> okay, noted that the hole in the back stay here is half inch. I need to send these measurements to my rigger. This video is mostly for myself, but it might make it into a video. Half inch hole in the back stay. Okay. Okay, in this chain plate, I don't know, the stay is the cable, right? It's the line, it's not uh, the chain plate. It's different, so. That one's at three eighths. Okay. Measure twice, that's why. And then we'll go on up here. I have to say, walking along your deck is much more terrifying when you're on the hard, because if you fall off, it hurts a lot more. Okay, what's left of my anchor chain here? Need a new line for that. My poor little light that I never <laughs> ended up wiring up, and I have to go back to work tomorrow. Maybe, I might be fired, we'll see. This looks like it's also like front and back are half inch and the mid ones are less like three eighths which is fine okay now we know here's where i sleep here's the bathroom it's all fucked up from projects there's the toilet Up. Everything's a project right now. Excuse me? <laughs> Mornings are hard. And by morning, I mean it's one in the afternoon. And I slept in the bee berth last night because my friend wanted the couch. It's too tight for her back here. There's not much space. But, uh... <sighs> I slept great. I love this bed back here. I think I'm going to put a uh, foam topper on it. And I need to figure out some cheaper version of like the folding system because I've got nothing under the cushions and they do mold. I've had to wash them a couple times. <laughs> right in the bed head. Uh, you can see over here on the end where it has been rotten um, before the rats even got to it, so needed to happen. Uh, Something I'm curious about up there in the forward area, <laughs> in the bow, where the chain comes through to the chain locker. It's got like a little closable um, hatch, I want to say. Yay big. When you have your anchor line installed, there's no way to close that 
Uh, how do you guys deal with like rain and water getting into your boat? Um, I find I end up with water in my bilge often because of, I believe, that. I can't find any other major leaks, that's like the only reason. Uh, the handrails do leak a bit, but yeah, I'm pretty sure most of it's coming from that. Uh, yeah, mosquitoes are getting bad, so I'm out for the night. It is the last day of my weekend. So I ordered some parts that I'm going to need because I don't feel like I'm going to have this job for much longer and I need to get the parts ordered. That way when I don't have an income, I'm not scrambling around trying to find money for the parts. So I got a new foot pump for the sink in the head and um, I got a repair kit for the flipper pump for the sink in the galley. So. That's going to be fun. I have to go buy some new line for the um, water tank to go to both sinks. Um, otherwise, I need to research the best way to protect my old aluminum mast. It's got a lot of corrosion on it now. I know how to grind the corrosion out, sand it down, all that. I've done that for work, but um, Elodyne is expensive. That's how we would do it in aviation. Aladine and paint. I'm not sure if that's the best course of action. If it is, I will probably sink money into buying some freaking Aladine, but um, I'm not sure how best to deal with it. It's a uh, protective coating was sanded off by whoever owned the boat that that mast came off of. It was like that when I got it, so I'm not sure how to fix that. I have to do some research. I did order the little, um, shell clamp that you attach the garden hose to and you put it over the in the water intakes on the outboard engine so you can run it on land and try to get to run so here's hoping that it actually works i would love for something to work out um i did get news yesterday that um my body is um has suppressed any remaining um, I guess they were precancerous cells, so that's exciting. Um, the test that they did this past week um, have showed that I don't even need to get surgery, so I am thrilled, and I am still righteously indignant about the whole um, way that I've been treated at this job, so I definitely am not going to stay. I would like to have at least one more paycheck as a buffer um, between now and when I leave. So two weeks more of working kind of is my minimum. I'd like to have another job lined up, but if I don't, um, that's actually kind of good because I'd like to finish this boat and get it back in the water in the next couple of months. Well, that's all I've got uh, this week, so thanks for watching. And next week I'm going to start researching a water filter to put um, basically in between where you fill your water tank and your actual like water tank um, in the boat so I don't know what kind to use I don't know how to mount it I would love to see or hear about like how you guys are doing it if you're using one and what you're using um, I'm gonna be consulting the Google you know but otherwise people with actual experience I would love to know what you do for that